Welcome back to Octopath Traveler, and here we're finally starting Ophelia's Chapter 2. Let's wander around town a little bit and see what's in, in stock for us. Especially right here. Bear Cleaver. Okay, this is way too good for me not to get from Warhammer. I lose a bit of elemental attack, but holy crap, that attack power. Uh, I'm not sure if that's uh, really that worth it. Go forth, my friend. I'll make quick work of this. Standest thou against me? Then be hunting. Let my arrow fly in truth. I will not be Ice, maybe? Let's do Lind. Sword. Nothing. Come on. Force Rackin, then. Finally got something out of it. What was... How do you do that? Okay, let's do this and... Wait, oh wait. Uh... Yeah, that would do a decent amount of damage. And next round we can still take advantage of it. Wow, this guy's tough. I had to heal this round. What else could it... So I've used sword, dagger... I could use axe, but I don't have axe. I think he's weak to axe. All I can do is force Rackin and then I'm done. Uh, Thunder didn't do it. Ice? Nope. Wait, I didn't even think of- I can't use staff though. Light. Nope. Well, let's just do this. If 
Is there anything else I can use against him? Fire. Finally got him. All right. What was that all about? <laughs> Hang me, but I'm a wretch. Oh. Thank you again, friend. I showed my mother's letter and asked her to show me the way. Whereupon he flew into a sudden rage. To seal that letter, tis the crest of House Gerster. Gerster? Could that be in the house where I was born? What's that? You don't know where you came come from? I was good not with my real mother when I was an infant. I want a journey to find her. God of mercy. House Gerster was once the most powerful clan in the lands among the river. But then the Gersters inside war, much blood spilled, they end up destroyed. I came from a noble house too, and we were ruined along with them. Now a day has passed that I haven't cursed House Gerster. A sad tale, sir. The girls has wronged you, and for that I apologize. You say you were separated from your mother, parents, when you were just a babe. Sir, I do not know if I truly was of that house. But if they were my flesh and blood, it is my only right that I too bear some blame. I can't pretend to be indifferent when I have some comforting for them. Listen, House Gerst was just was ruined, but if you're looking for your mother, I've heard of a tell of a survivor who still lives in secret somewhere upriver. Why, thank you. Then I shall continue my search. On the river, when the message came. Yeah, so uh, the, these uh, lengthy side quests seem to just go from the first area in, in that in that region to the second area to the third area. I admit that last summer, I realized I've been wrong. Children are born innocent; they can't be held to the task for sins of their parents. Learn well. Can I hire you? Well. Guide you. You're not bad, but that's, you're still a sword. Burn well. That's an axe. <laughs> My other brother is an amazing artist. He's probably by the river as we speak, painting another masterpiece. I should have stolen that. It seems like it does zoom in. This looks way bit. Uh, th we, we enter the house, it's way bigger in the inside than the outside. There's the massive bridge. It's an impressive looking bridge, for sure. You see the cathedral after crossing this large bridge. It's drawn by the manor district where the upper crusts live. Upper crust. Wow. See, the, the town doesn't look like much from here. But once you get up that bridge, holy crap, it starts to get a lot bigger. Upstream. Let's play a bridge, no? The private fair of town. The common folk live in a little heart town at southeast where we now stand. The common folk. 
Wind soul stones, thank you. Greetings. This here square is popper with little lilins and grannies. Star keeps close on the local water supply. He just so to ensure those who live nearby will not again fall prey to a sickness which was once spread in the wave via the river. A sickness that cleaned his wife three years ago. So many sad stories. Ingboy lives in this town. He was raised by common gentle parents. He shares the compassion of the downtrodden and often feeds stray cats and brings flowers to friends who have fallen ill. He is welcomed by many due to his boundless kindness. A boy who was qu quite and shy until about a year ago, when he first met Emma and Daryl, the parents started to become more adventurous and outgoing, and those who have not seen him in a while would surely be surprised at how much he has changed. A strong and direct young boy whose outgoing nature has made him very f many friends. Lee, however, he has not been his usual cheerful self, avoiding others and befriending a copy of his own thoughts. This was switched. That's not a tavern. Hmm, my back's been seen better days. Silver armor, silver helm, silver axe. An elderly woman who lives a quiet life of solitude, never once for, for social gatherings. She has. She had no one with whom to talk to after, to after her husband died. How she recently met another older woman while taking a walk and two has since become good friends. Oh, grandma. Okay. Rainbow robe. It worked. <laughs> I think I get that. A no woman who has lived within this town for many years. A stubborn curmudgeon, she has slow pa her pa pace to trust others, and even slower to trust her feelings. Though grateful to have a dear friend who accepts her for who she is, she likely never has me as much. Let's talk about a giant wolf in the forest ahead. Me rumors, I hope. Another path blocked. So one of these two forests is probably for... Ophelia's quest, and the other one's for another quest. Here's a tavern. This will this will allow me to wait. I was to say, is there another door? No, there's not. This is where I can go to uh, start my start my mission. Greetings. Look at the Cathedral Saints Bridge. May you flame ever guard your path. Yes, please. I want all the shadow stuff I can get. Wait, what? Odds and ends. Look at the Great Cathedral Saints Bridge. If you wish to say a prayer, you'll find the chapel up ahead. You can't steal in here. Interesting. Or maybe there's nothing to steal. That is a person standing right there, but there's nothing to do with them, so. Wait, what? Some moons ago, a ruffian began exploring coins of pilgrims traveling the, from the, to the great cathedral. Word has spread, and fewer pilgrims are dare make the jury. That scar must be driven off. Zero percent chance to cap get get that. Well observed, hmm? Does open interest you? Weapon. Holy longbow.
Should you again have me of discerning, discerning mind, I would be happy to offer my talents. Oh, he's just sitting here. story so far. Sister Sophia set out from home alone on a holy quest. She is to complete the kindling, a sacred rite carried out every 20 years. She was entrusted with the first flame and bears its ember with her. The, the three churches she must visit to light their flames anew. Archbishop Joseph hovers now on death's door, heart aching for the father and daughter who have accepted her into their fold. Ophelia takes Liana's place along her sister's stay at their father's side. Her gentle kindness inspired her to leave one home behind, and has brought her now to the town of Saints Bridge. May it bring a light to the hearts of the people living here as well. Greetings, Your Excellency. I am Sister Ophelia. I have come to perform the kindling. Welcome you to our parish, Sister Sophia. I am Bartolo, the Bishop of Saints Bridge. For you to come all this way in Sister Leon's stead. Yes. I am to be sorry for the sudden change in plans, Bishop Bartolo. Indeed. Think nothing of it, child. I heard the Archbishop's illness. You have my sympathies. Thank you. You are too kind, Your Excellency. Mm. I have not been so blessed as to perform killing myself, but I know the pilgrimage is a trying one. And yet there is also much to be gained for one who undertakes it with an open heart and mind. It will take everyone else to strengthen the courage, but for the heart the sake of our church and our realm, please pray see it to the end. Yes. Thank you, Your Excellency. I promise you I, you I will. <laughs> the people of Saints Bridge have waited with eager hearts for the coming of the flames bearer. The warm light of the sacred flame guides and shudders us to all to the depths of our hearts and souls. Allow me to show you for our good to, to our cathedral. Heal to Sophia. This is the sacred flame of Saints Bridge. I stood in the same spot and witnessed the rite 20 years ago. At that time, the flame burned strong, but now it wanes and flickers. Almost as if it were sapped of life. Do you believe it's some sort of omen, Your Excellency? Mm -hmm. That I can't say, but I do believe the killing will restore our family to its former vigor. Please. And now, Sister Sophia, if you will. Yes. Of course, Your Excellency. I will begin at once. Oh, great, Elf great Elfric, bring us the flame. To you, I offer my soul and my blood. With your first flame, I kindle this fire. May it forever shelter the people of this land. Through the sacrament of the kindling, grant us your mercy and your blessing. Blessing. See how bright the flame shines now. Thank you, Sister Ophelia. You must be tired after your long journey. Please take this time to rest and recover. Thank you for the kind offer, Your Excellency. But since I am here, I would love to see more of your fair town. We are in you are our Sister Ophelia, but should you not rest first? No. I am stronger than I look, Your Excellency. I shall return. Something isn't right in town, that's pretty clear. At your service. Now listen here. You can find lots of rare plants and herbs in these lands. Especially lion's ear and sweet wormwood. A dash of each makes nearly every salve better. When I was to be an apothecary, I signed journeyed out here in search of ingredients. 
Is that so? Here, look at this one. Well, skull cap. White skull cup, they call it. The petals are good for fevers. I grind with root starch and honey. Oh, it's wonderful. And it, I was one, it was one of the first methods I learned. I mean, I'd never seen such a beautiful flower. I suppose it is pretty. Look, I, here, you can have one if you, I suppose you like. But often, you're too kind. Shucks, you like flowers that much. I could pick plenty more for you. I like that. Gosh, she's a cute little lady. <laughs> Greetings. Welcome to the Cathedral Saint Trick. May the flame ever guide your path. See, the, the fact that in town there's a upper class and a lower class in a in a town that's all about that's you know that's all holy. That doesn't sound right. This is all your fault, Emil. I, I. We're gonna make you sorry. I am sorry. I am. You think that if you cry, that'll make everything all right? Uh, I'm sorry. I said I was sorry. And what's going on here? Break it up now. Break it up. Emil lost Daryl's brooch. It's gone now because of him. I'm sorry, Daryl. Sorries aren't going to bring back his brooch. You know how important it was to him. Why don't you tell me what happened? <laughs> Ask Emil if you really want to know. Come on, Nate. Let's get out of here. You said it, Daryl. We'll be back for you later, Emil. You know what's good for you. You better find that brooch. A meal, was it? Uh, yes, I'm... I'm Sister Ophelia. I am a cleric, journeying on behalf of the church. Journeying? Oh, are you here for the kindling? That's right, but I've already wrapped up with the rites, so... Are you gonna help me look for this brooch, or what? It, you'd really do that? For me? I really would. So cheer up, got it? Thank you, miss. I mean, sister. Thank you, Reverend Sister. <laughs> Ophelia is fine. Now. Let's get down to it. See, I... Maybe he is gone. This is where he last saw it. Dear Papa, I guess that's when he dropped it. Is that so? You see. The brooch belonged to Daryl's mom. She died just the other week. That brooch is more important to him than anything. I have to find it. I see. That's very kind of you, Emil. No. Daryl can be rough nice, but we're all friends. It's just that, well, after his mom died like that, he's always so angry about everything. Do you think he'll play with me again like he used to, sister? If we just find his brooch? Of course. of course. He'll see how hard you work to make him feel better. I'm sure he'll come around. Emil. I think we've searched enough for the morning. Perhaps it's best. Perhaps time for war with Daryl. <clears throat> Greetings. Greetings. The house in back? Uh, 
Damn, might I just be with you for a moment? Yeah, it's just from before. Do you find my brooch? Nope, still missing. I hope I'm fine already. It's more important to me than anything. We're both looking for as hard as we can, so why don't you forgive Emma, okay? Hey. It's his fault that it's gone. I'll forgive him when it's back. Not until you get it back. How sad. How sad if everyone's sad here, it's me. I'm the one who doesn't have a mom anymore. Yes, you are the sad one. I know the pain you must be feeling. Also, I know that her email does nothing to ease it. There's nothing as painful as losing a loved one. But do you not love your friends as well? Beats me. He lost my mother's brooch. He doesn't know how I feel, neither do you. Nobody does. How can he understand? He still has a mom. And yet he's still out there searching for your bro precious brooch. Searching for his friend. No. Yeah, right. I bet he's given up and gone home by now. Just leave me alone. Jerry, will you come with me? There's something I need. I'd like you to see. Yeah, what is it? You'll see when you get there. Hey, where, where are you taking me? There. There, will you go look at that? Why can't I find it anywhere? Where could it have gone? Oh, why can't I find it anywhere? Where could it have gone? Over the edge? Into the water? You know, Daryl, Emil told me something. He said you've been angry at everything and everyone since your mother passed. But he hoped if he could only find your brooch. Again. Emil said that? I lost my parents too, you know. You did? I was a little younger than you are now. I asked myself over and over, why am I the only one whose life is so miserable? trying to cheer me up, no matter how much of a clod pole I was. Clod pole? <laughs> It's not one to play with me? Why is everyone always blaming me? I'm not blaming 
you for anything? Huh? But you just said... No one here is blaming you. Unless, maybe, you're blaming yourself? You're blaming yourself. Perhaps you're feeling guilty for making your friend feel bad, hmm? I can tell you're a good kid. So why don't you be honest with me? Come with you. Let's go. I just How do you do? Your name, yes? Yeah. Yeah, what's it to you? You see. We're looking for Emil. Have you seen him? He was here a short time ago. And then oh yeah, I saw him running off after some dog. What? A dog? Yeah, just a few minutes ago. There was this dog and it had something that in its mouth. Amy was saying something about how he was sure it was the brooch, and I'm sure he went right off that way. That way toward the forest? What? The forest? No Is he crazy? The forest full of monsters. We're not allowed to go anywhere near it. Goodness. Oh no! <laughs> It'll be fine. Just you think about it. Amy was a total coward, right? There's no way he'd go into that forest on his own. I think he's running home right now, crying all the way. Shut up. Oh, what? Hey, what's your problem? You know what Emil's like. Damn. I gotta go after him. <gasps> Wait, Daryl. A dog with a broken its jaws. That could be it. When dogs catch and prey, they aren't too full and aren't too full, they often Bury for safekeeping. They aren't collectors and hiding away sticks, toys, and old bones, too. I think the dog may have buried Daryl's heirloom? The dog meant no malice. It acted solely upon instinct. The problem is the forest. It's home not to just animals, but dangerous monsters, too. As a hunter, I fear them more. As do I, to be honest. I pray that Daryl and Emil are unharmed. I shall leave the praying to thee, but for now, let's keep them moving. Definitely. This is so cool! I like this! There, there, there's conversations between different characters. They just grew up with little ones and grannies. Uh, it's, not, it's still not during the main sequence, but they're, they're basically like right behind you the whole time, and they, they, they see what's going on. It's really neat actually seeing conversations between your characters. Uh. Hello to you. There's a giant wolf in the forest, yeah. That's be our boss. Alright, that is it for this episode of Octopath Traveler. We complete a significant part of uh, uh, chapter 2 of Ophelia's story. In the next chapter, in the next episode of uh, Octopath Traveler, we're going to finish Ophelia's chapter 2. Maybe, depending on how long it is. I, I, I'm assuming it's just going to be this dungeon, but there might be more, who knows. Let's get going in the next episode. This is Jaden Raymond, signing out.